Hello viewers and welcome to this video course on complex analysis. My name is Sri Krishna Palapati, also P A S Sri Krishna uh, and I will be the instructor uh, for this uh, course. This course is a part of the national program on technology enhanced learning the NPTEL uh, project uh, sponsored by the Ministry of Human Resources Development uh, Government of India. In this uh, video or uh, in this session, uh, I will be talking about various aspects uh, of this course and uh, I will uh, try to put the course in context. So, the various uh, uh, things that I will be talking about in this uh, lecture are the prerequisites for this course, what you need to uh, get started with the course okay? and then uh, I will talk about the overview of the course and then I will give some textbooks and references uh, which can be followed and then uh, I will give a lecture wise description uh, of the course and uh, I will uh, inform how to use uh, this course at, uh, at two levels. I okay? will uh, say what that is elaborately okay? and I will also talk about uh, problems. Uh, I will say a word about uh, problems okay? and then I will give my contact information and uh, solicit feedback and finally, I will end this lecture with acknowledgements. Uh, so, uh, feel free to uh, skip a part of this video or the whole of this video uh, if you uh, feel appropriate. Okay? So, um, I will begin uh, with the prerequisites uh, for this course. Okay? So, uh, the prerequisites uh, for this course are uh, single variable uh, real analysis. Okay. So, uh, an introductory uh, or a course in real analysis functions of one real variable okay, uh, is essential uh, in order to follow uh, the material uh, in this course. Okay. So, the concepts of uh, limits, continuity, differentiability uh, and integrability as applied to uh, functions from subsets of real numbers to real numbers okay, uh, sh should be familiar to the viewer okay, uh, and uh, one should also know uh, or uh, know and understand uh, theorems uh, like the intermediate value theorem, the mean value theorem, Taylor's theorem, uh, the, the fundamental theorem of calculus uh, and such uh, which are taught in a first course on real analysis. Okay. And uh, uh, that is uh, that's not all to uh, follow uh, some parts of this course, uh, you will also need a first course in uh, multivariable calculus. Okay. Uh, so, uh, the, uh, the viewer should be familiar uh, with the concepts of limits, continuity and differentiability as applied to uh, functions from subsets of R to R 2, subsets of R 2 to R subsets of R 2 to R 2 uh, at least okay? and, uh, and uh, it will definitely help the viewer to be familiar with the concepts of uh, the line integral, surface integral etcetera, which are taught in a uh, first course on multivariable calculus. Okay? And uh, in particular, uh, it will be useful for the viewer uh, to uh, understand uh, Green's theorem. Okay? And over and above these things, uh, what, uh, what one cannot quantify and what uh, the viewer is expected to have uh, is uh, a certain mathematical maturity. Okay? If you have seen enough proofs in a first course on real analysis, okay, then uh, you can consider yourself to be uh, well prepared uh, for this course. And uh, uh, with these prerequisites, uh, one can uh, one can uh, go over these lectures. Okay? And uh, now, I will talk about uh, the overview um, of this course. Okay? So, uh, this is an introductory course in uh, complex analysis. Okay? So, uh, we will uh, start with the algebraic uh, properties of complex numbers. So, we will first introduce the complex number system itself and uh, we will start with the algebraic properties uh, of uh, complex numbers. Then uh, we will uh, study the geometry of the complex plane. Ok, 
Okay. So, we will look at the geometry of addition, complex addition and complex multiplication okay. and then uh, we uh, study the topology of the complex plane uh, in some detail. Okay. So, uh, since topology is integral to the study of uh, complex uh, analytic functions, uh, we will uh, look into topology uh, in some detail okay. uh, and three lectures uh, are uh, allocated to uh, the study of topology of the complex plane. Okay. And uh, after uh, studying the topology of the complex plane, uh, we introduce the viewer to the concept of a complex function, the complex uh, valued function of a complex variable okay. and then uh, we go on to introduce the concepts of limits uh, of a complex function as the variable approaches a complex number. Okay, and the concept of uh, continuity of a complex function and the concept of a differentiability of complex function. Okay. And uh, we will uh, then introduce analytic functions, uh, which are uh, central to the study, central objects of study in uh, complex analysis. Okay. So, we will give uh, enough examples of analytic functions okay. and then uh, we go on to prove various versions of uh, Cauchy's theorem, which one can consider uh, to be the central theorem in uh, complex analysis. Okay. So, we will prove various versions of this Cauchy's theorem and we will derive the Cauchy's integral uh, formula for uh, uh, a function, for an analytic function. Okay. And then uh, we will also derive the Cauchy's integral formulae for uh, higher derivatives of uh, analytic functions. Uh, so, uh, in particular we will prove that uh, uh, a, an analytic function is differentiable any number of times while deriving the Cauchy's integral formulae. Okay. And then uh, we also uh, prove some consequences of the Cauchy's integral formula namely uh, the Liouville's theorem and the fundamental theorem of algebra. Okay. And we also prove the converse to the uh, uh, Cauchy's theorem namely uh, Morera's theorem. Okay. Uh, further, uh, in order to explore uh, uh, the properties of analytic functions, uh, we introduce power series okay. and then we prove the open mapping theorem and as a consequence we prove the maximum modulus theorem. Okay. And uh, then we uh, take a detour into uh, the study of Mobius transformations. Okay. So, the Mobius transformations are an important class of functions which are an important uh, class of examples for uh, conformal mappings okay. and uh, uh, we study the properties of Mobius transformations okay, uh, briefly okay. and then uh, we go on to study isolated singularities of uh, analytic functions. Okay. So, we uh, classify the isolated uh, singularities uh, and uh, prove some results about the behavior of uh, uh, an analytic function in the neighborhood uh, of different kinds of isolated singularities. Okay. So, we prove the uh, Lorentz theorem okay, and use it to uh, prove the Cauchy's residue theorem and uh, finally, we end the course uh, with some applications of the Cauchy's residue theorem. Okay. So, that is an overview uh, of uh, this course. Next, I will talk about the textbooks or uh, references for this course. Okay. So, uh, the viewer is uh, strongly uh, advised to take notes uh, while uh, listening to the lectures, uh, viewing the lectures okay. and, uh, and then uh, supplement the uh, understanding with uh, reading one of these uh, textbooks listed here. Okay. So, uh, the textbooks uh, or references for this course are uh, introduction to complex analysis by Priestley. Okay. and then uh, complex analysis by Alfors, which is a standard textbook. Okay. And then uh, one will notice that the uh, material which is presented in this course uh, bears a lot of similarity with Priestley, uh, Priestley's textbook and some similarity with uh, Alfors textbook. Okay. And, uh, and then there are other references for this course. Okay. So, the basic complex analysis by Marston and Hoffman. Uh, complex variables and applications by Brown and Churchill, which is a widely accepted uh, textbook for a course at this level okay. and complex analysis for mathematics and engineering by Matthews and Howell, uh, which is also uh, a very popular book. 
Okay. And uh, the references 3, 4 and 5 uh, present the subject uh, material um, in, in their own style okay. and uh, the viewer can pick any one of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5 uh, according to his or her taste. Okay. And then there is this uh, reference 6 visual complex analysis by Needham, which is a wonderful book, which uh, gives a visual feel to all the results, which are discussed uh, in this uh, course. Let me inform the viewer that this uh, textbook 6 takes a completely different approach than uh, the one uh, taken in this course, but uh, it gives you a visual feel of all the results and, uh, um, and is a, a pleasure to read. So, uh, that is also listed as a reference here. Next, uh, I will uh, give a lecture wise description of the course, okay, module wise and lecture wise description of the course. So, uh, a viewer can uh, feel free to skip uh, this particular part of the video if one likes. Okay. So, uh, let me begin with uh, module 1. So, module 1 uh, is about the arithmetic, geometric and topological properties of complex numbers. Okay. So, in module 1 lecture 1, uh, we introduce complex numbers, perhaps this is already uh, familiar to many of the viewers okay. and then we introduce complex number arithmetic, okay, which is once again fairly easy uh, and then uh, we introduce the conjugation uh, of a complex number and its properties. Okay. And then we uh, introduce the complex plane and how to uh, represent points on the complex plane. Okay. And we introduce the concepts of modulus and argument of a complex number and discuss their properties. Okay. So, this is a, uh, a very introductory lecture and is uh, in place here uh, only for completeness. Okay. So, it is possible that many of the viewers are already familiar with uh, this material. If you are already familiar with this material, uh, feel free to skip this particular uh, lecture. Okay. Uh, and then um, in the uh, next lecture, module uh, 1, lecture 2, uh, we continue with the uh, triangle inequality, which is one of the properties uh, which uh, is related to uh, modulus. Okay. And then uh, we talk about uh, the geometry of addition and multiplication okay, uh, in the complex plane. Okay. And then we uh, introduce the De Moore's formula for uh, powers of integral powers of complex numbers. Okay. And then uh, we through examples, we demonstrate how to find the nth roots of a complex number, uh, all the nth roots of complex number where n is a, a positive integer. Okay. Uh, and um, finally, we introduce the uh, stereographic projection and uh, introduce the point at infinity. So, uh, we uh, give the concept of the complex uh, plane union the point at infinity okay and such a construct is used uh, at various points in the course in particular we uh, call this the riemann sphere and we use it to st uh, study the uh, mobius transformations okay so that's module 2 lecture 2 module 1 lecture 2 sorry okay and then uh, in module 1 lecture 3 4 and 5 uh, we discuss the topology of the complex plane. Okay. So, uh, as I already mentioned, uh, topology is integral uh, to understanding uh, the, uh, the analysis of complex functions. So, uh, topology is covered in uh, three lectures. Okay. So, uh, what we discuss in these three lectures is the con uh, are the concepts of open sets, closed sets, uh, limit points, Okay. and uh, closure of a set, the interior, exterior and boundary of a set. Okay. And uh, we also discuss compact sets, connected sets and their properties. Okay. And we also uh, discuss complex sequences and their convergence. Okay. And uh, that uh, completes module 1 and prepares the ground for uh, the study of complex functions. Okay. We start module 2. Uh, with complex functions. So, module 2 is all about complex functions, their limits, continuity and the uh, and differentiation. Okay. So, we start module 2 with uh, introduction to complex functions. Once again, uh, module 2 lecture 1 is fairly um, 
easy material. Okay. So, uh, it is quite possible that many viewers out there are familiar uh, with what is discussed in module 2 lecture 1. Okay. So, once again if you feel comfortable you can uh, skip module 2 lecture 1, okay. uh, but uh, we will in module 2 lecture 2 we will start with the limits the concept of a limit of a complex function as the variable approaches a complex number. We uh, discuss the limits and then we also discuss continuity of complex functions. Okay. And then in this uh, lecture, uh, we will also discuss limits involving in uh, infinity okay. and then uh, we will discuss what continuity of a function on a domain will mean. Okay. And then in module 2 lecture uh, 3, we introduce complex uh, uh, differentiation, we define uh, the derivative of a complex function when it exists okay. and uh, we uh, reconcile the definition of derivative of a complex uh, function okay, uh, at a point with the definition of the derivative of a function of two real variables uh, uh, which is uh, vector value in R 2. Okay. So, if uh, that is if you take a function from subsets of R 2 to R 2, okay, then uh, it bears some uh, likeness to functions from uh, subsets of complex plane to complex plane okay, and then uh, we, we reconcile the two uh, using uh, the Cauchy Riemann uh, equations. So, the Cauchy Riemann equations give a condition on a function from subset of R 2 to R 2 uh, okay, necessary condition uh, for it to be complex differentiable to be considered complex function and uh, for it to be complex differentiable. Okay. And then uh, we also give a geometric uh, interpretation of uh, the derivative in this lecture okay. and uh, we also uh, uh, describe what conformality uh, is okay. and then uh, say that con uh, these, these functions which are uh, differentiable okay, uh, and if the derivative is non-zero uh, then uh, they are conformal. Okay. And in module 2, uh, lecture 4, uh, we uh, talk about uh, the Cauchy Riemann equations, okay, uh, which are uh, which are a necessary condition uh, as I mentioned for functions from subsets of R 2 to R 2 uh, to be complex differentiable as complex functions, okay, uh, when viewed as complex functions. Okay. And then uh, we uh, give uh, sufficient conditions uh, for a uh, for such a function. Uh, to be complex differentiable. Okay. So, it turns out that as the Cauchy Riemann equations are not sufficient uh, for a function from a subset of R 2 to, to R 2 be uh, to be complex differentiable. Okay. So, uh, in addition if it satisfies uh, the condition that its partial derivatives are continuous, okay, then uh, when it is viewed as complex function, uh, it is complex differentiable. Okay. So, uh, we uh, prove this uh, proposition in uh, module 2 lecture 4 okay. and we give some uh, examples in this direction okay. and in uh, module 2 lecture 5, we introduce uh, the important class of functions namely uh, analytic functions. Okay. So, uh, analytic functions are complex differentiable functions uh, in a neighborhood of a point. Okay. Of course, differentiable at the point itself and also differentiable in a neighborhood of that point. Okay. So, uh, this class of this openness of the domain of uh, differentiability is responsible for many important uh, results, um, which we will prove uh, in this course. Okay. And uh, we introduce the exponential function, the complex exponential function owing to the likeness to the real exponential function. Okay. And we give some properties uh, in particular the mapping properties of uh, exponential function. Okay. And then uh, we uh, talk about the sign, the complex sign function, the complex cosine function uh, and then we uh, describe some of their properties here. Okay. And we then introduce the harmonic functions uh, in this lecture uh, 6 uh, in module 2. Okay. And in particular we give couple of examples of how to find uh, harmonic conjugates uh, of uh, harmonic functions okay, uh, over a domain. Okay. In module 2 lecture 7, uh, we uh, introduce 
uh, what we call as multi functions. Okay. We will see that uh, argument is a multi function uh, on the complex plane minus the uh, origin okay. and we will introduce the logarithm multi function and we will see how to uh, construct branches of uh, analytic branches of these multi functions. Okay. So, we will see how to restrict uh, the domains of these multi functions such that uh, we can uh, we can think of them as uh, analytic functions on that restricted uh, domain okay. single valued analytic functions uh, by making appropriate choice choices. Okay. And then uh, we will uh, describe uh, analytic branches of the nth root function of a complex number okay and we'll also describe the analytic branches of z power alpha where z is a complex variable and alpha is a fixed complex number other than integers okay uh, so uh, we will then go on to uh, discuss the complex uh, hyperbolic uh, functions and uh, their properties so, we will end module 2 with a problem session. So, after having introduced complex functions and uh, the concepts of limits, continuity and differentiation, uh, we, uh, we introduce uh, integration complex integration okay, uh, along contours okay, and we, uh, we will use the complex integration theory uh, to study properties of analytic functions. So, it turns out that uh, integration complex integration gives out many properties of analytic functions. Okay. So, uh, we uh, be begin complex integration theory uh, with how to integrate a complex valued function of a real variable okay. and then uh, we introduce um, contours in the complex plane. Okay. So, these are uh, gadgets on which we will uh, integrate complex functions okay and uh, then we define contour uh, integration we give some properties of contour integration and then uh, we prove the complex version of the fundamental theorem of calculus in lecture 3 uh, in module 3 uh, we give an introduction to uh, cauchy's theorem one can say that cauchy's theorem is central to all of uh, complex analysis okay and we'll uh, in this lecture module 3 lecture 3 we will uh, prepare the ground for cauchy's theorem okay so what we will do is uh, we will prove couple of estimation theorems uh, estimation uh, uh, of a contour integral we will give a proof of uh, a preliminary version of cauchy's theorem uh, based on green's theorem okay so uh, by uh, by adding additional hypotheses one can see that Cauchy's theorem uh, is Green's theorem uh, in disguise. Okay. So, uh, we will do that in module 3 lecture 3 and in module 3 lecture 4, uh, 4, 5 and 6 we will cover uh, 3 different versions of uh, Cauchy's theorem. Okay. So, in module 3 lecture uh, 4 uh, we will cover the Cauchy's theorem for a rectangle. Okay. This is the cauchy gursa theorem for rectangle, uh, where we assume that the function is analytic on and inside a rectangle and we show that the integration of analytic function on the boundary of the rectangle uh, is 0. Okay. And uh, that we will do in uh, module 3 lecture 4. In module 3 lecture 5, we will prove the anti derivative theorem okay, and prove the disk version of uh, Cauchy's theorem. We will also uh, give the concept of the index of a closed curve around a point in this lecture. Okay. And in module 3 lecture 6, we will prove yet another version of Cauchy's theorem known as uh, deformation theorem. Okay. And this is the version of Cauchy's theorem that we are going to put to use a lot uh, for the rest of the course. Okay. And uh, a, a word is in order here about module 3 lecture 6. The proof is uh, fairly technical and if one wants to believe the result and skip the proof, one can do so without loss of continuity. Okay. So, uh, if you are a beginning student in complex analysis, uh, then uh, you can uh, feel free to skip module 3 lecture 6 and take the results from uh, that lecture. Okay. And uh, module 3 uh, lecture 7 derives Cauchy's formula. 
and covers some of its uh, consequences. Okay. In particular, we prove the Liouville's theorem and the fundamental theorem of algebra. Okay. So, Liouville's theorem is surprising, it asserts that if you have a uh, complex differentiable function on all of the complex plane and if it is bounded, then it has to be the constant function. Okay. So, uh, uh, if you look at uh, the real function sin x, it is bounded and it is differentiable on all of the uh, real line, okay. uh, but such a phenomenon cannot occur for a complex uh, analytic functions. So, if a complex analytic function is analytic on all of the complex plane uh, and if it is bounded in its modulus. Okay, then it has to be uh, a constant function. Okay, that's Liouville's theorem, which is a surprising property. Okay, and that we prove in module three, uh, lecture seven. Okay, and we also prove the fundamental theorem of algebra, which tells that if you consider a, a complex polynomial, that is a, a polynomial with complex coefficients. Okay, then um, it has to have a root in the complex numbers. What that means is, uh, it can be decomposed into uh, product of linear factors over the complex uh, field. Okay. So, that is a fundamental theorem of uh, algebra okay. and in module 3 lecture 8 uh, and 9, we will uh, derive the Cauchy integral formulae for higher order derivatives of analytic functions. Okay. And uh, we do that uh, step wise, we first uh, give formulae for the first derivative of an analytic function and then for the second derivative and finally, generalize it uh, to give uh, a, a Cauchy's integral formula for the nth derivative of uh, an analytic function. Okay. So, that also demonstrates that an analytic function can be differentiated any number of times. Okay. So, if a, uh, if a complex function is analytic, that is it is differentiable in a uh, neighborhood of a point at which it, it is differentiable, okay. then it is uh, differentiable any number of times, uh, which definitely uh, is in a stark contrast with functions of uh, real variables, okay, which can be uh, differentiable n number of times, but not the n plus 1th time. Okay, there are examples of such real functions. Okay. And then uh, in module 3 uh, lecture 9, we also prove the Morera's theorem, which is the converse to uh, Cauchy's theorem. Okay. And uh, we end module 3 uh, with, uh, with a problem session. Okay. Module 4 uh, is about further properties of analytic functions. Okay. So, we explore the, uh, the properties of analytic functions further by using uh, complex power series. Okay. So, we begin module 4 with introduction to complex power series okay. and then uh, we introduce these power series as examples of analytic functions. Okay. So, we prove the analyticity of power series uh, in module 4 lecture 2. Okay. We in, in particular, we give a way to find the derivative of power series that is by differentiating them uh, term by term. Okay. And uh, in module 4 lecture 3, uh, we prove the Taylor's theorem uh, for an analytic function, which asserts that at a point of analyticity, uh, the analytic function has a power series expansion uh, locally. Okay. So, uh, which is very important uh, in order to prove some local theorems. Okay. And in module 4, lecture 4, uh, we use Taylor's theorem uh, to analyze the zeros of an analytic function. In particular, uh, we show that uh, the zeros of a uh, analytic function, which is not identically 0 itself, okay, are isolated. Okay. What that means is, if you find a 0 of an analytic function uh, in a neighborhood, you can find a neighborhood of that point, where the analytic function is non-zero, okay, provided the function itself is not identically 0. Okay. So, uh, the Taylor's theorem allows us to make such conclusions okay. and then um, we uh, prove a theorem on how to count zeros of an analytic function inside a simple closed curve. Okay. And then we prove Rouche's theorem in particular. Okay. And then we also use uh, uh, the Taylor's theorem uh, to prove the open mapping theorem, okay, uh, which uh, asserts that uh, a complex 
analytic function is an open map that is uh, it takes uh, open sets to open sets. Okay. So, this is uh, this shows the uh, topological nature of uh, these uh, analytic functions. Okay. So, if the function is further one to one then it is uh, a topological mapping what that means is um, it is it is one to one and on to its domain okay, and then uh, on to its range sorry okay, uh, and uh, it is also uh, an open map. Okay. So, uh, that is um, proved as a consequence of the open mapping theorem and we also uh, give the uh, maximum modulus theorem as uh, a consequence of the open mapping theorem. Okay. So, this is a very important picture uh, of uh, the complex analytic functions okay, uh, that it that they are uh, open mappings. Okay. Uh, uh, of course, uh, all this applies uh, only to non constant analytic functions. Okay. So, if the function is itself a constant uh, then definitely it is not an open map. Okay. So, uh, we show the open mapping theorem over two lectures in uh, at the end of module 4. Okay. And in module 5, uh, we take a detour uh, into uh, Mobius transformations. Okay. So, Mobius transformations are examples are important uh, class of uh, examples okay, of uh, conf conformal mappings. Okay. And we discuss the properties of uh, Mobius transformations over couple of lectures. Okay, and end module 5 uh, with a problem session. Okay. And then we, uh, we come back to uh, analytic functions okay, uh, in general uh, okay. and then we discuss uh, isolated singularities of analytic functions okay, in module 6. Okay. And uh, in module 6 lecture 1, we define an isolated singularity okay, and define a removable singularity. Okay, uh, which is one of these isolated singularities okay. and uh, in module 6 lecture 2, uh, we define what is called a pole for a complex analytic function okay. uh, and then we classify uh, the isolated singularities as removable singularities, poles or, uh, or essential singularities okay. and then uh, we define uh, essential singularity. Okay, uh, based on this classification actually. Okay. And then we discuss the behavior of an analytic function in a neighborhood of uh, essential singularity. In particular, we prove uh, the casarati weierstrass theorem in module 6 lecture 3. Okay. And we give a brief introduction to uh, Laurent series for a function near a pole okay, uh, in module 6 lecture 3. In module 6 lecture 4, uh, we introduce uh, the viewer to double ended power series okay, and we prove the Laurent's theorem okay. and we use the Laurent's theorem to prove uh, the Cauchy's residue theorem in module 6 lecture 5 okay, and uh, we end the course with uh, applications of residue theorem. In particular, we will see uh, the argument principle okay, uh, and then uh, we will apply the Cauchy's residue theorem to evaluate uh, a certain real definite integral okay, in a real improper definite integral okay. and uh, we end module 6 uh, with a problem session. Okay. So, uh, that is an overview of what is covered uh, in this course. Okay. So, this is a lecture wise description of uh, what is done in this course. Next, I will talk about um, how to use uh, this course. I will uh, basically uh, classify the target audience uh, broadly into uh, two classes uh, um, and a beginning undergraduate student in uh, complex analysis and an ad advanced uh, student in complex analysis. Okay. So, uh, a, a beginning student okay, can omit uh, module 3 lecture 6. Okay, and uh, take the results from module 3 lecture 6 okay, and uh, skip proofs of higher derivative formulae uh, module 3 lecture 8 and 9 okay, and also uh, can skip the uh, open mapping theorem okay, uh, the proof of open mapping theorem which is covered uh, in module 4 lectures 6 and uh, 7. 
Okay. So, uh, a, a beginning student uh, can uh, follow the rest of the course by these uh, by uh, following these omissions okay, uh, without a loss of uh, much loss of continuity. Okay. And an advanced student can definitely skip module 1 lecture 1 and module 2 lecture 1, okay, which are introductions to uh, complex numbers and complex functions respectively. Okay. So, an advanced student will definitely be prepared with these things okay. and uh, the advanced student can also uh, skip module 4 lecture 1, uh, if, uh, if one is already familiar with complex power series. Okay. Uh, so, uh, the rest of the course can be uh, followed uh, uh, well by an advanced student. Okay. So, that is a rough classification of target audience okay. and um, one can take a first path or the second path in order to uh, follow this course. Okay. Next, I will uh, discuss problems and problem solving sessions. Okay. So, uh, solving problems is integral to understanding the subject matter. Okay. So, one cannot overemphasize the importance of solving problems in order to understand the subject matter. Okay. So, uh, I have uh, covered some uh, problems uh, at, the, at the end of uh, some modules okay, in problem solving sessions. Okay. So, try to uh, pause after each uh, problem is posed and try to solve it uh, yourself and uh, also try to solve uh, various problems from the textbook. Okay. So, solve as many problems as it takes to gain confidence in the subject matter. Okay. So, uh, as I mentioned, I will uh, mention once again that solving problems is uh, integral to understanding the subject matter. Okay. So, it is a word about uh, problems and problem solving sessions. Okay. Next, I will uh, give my contact information okay and i will solicit feedback okay so uh, my email is uh, paasskrishna at iitg.rnet.in so if you need to contact me uh, feel free to email me okay i request the viewers uh, to be considerate when uh, sending emails okay uh, and uh, i also uh, request you to be patient in expecting a reply okay and uh, i uh, solicit uh, feedback. Okay. So, uh, definitely constructive feedback is appreciated okay. and uh, if you uh, feel something needs to be commented on about this course, uh, then uh, please uh, uh, email me okay, and I will um, be happy to respond. Okay. I will end uh, this uh, video uh, with acknowledgement. I first want to uh, thank Dr. K. V. Krishna, uh, my colleague who has initiated me into this uh, NPTEL project and constantly motivated me uh, to complete uh, this project and bring it, bring it to this uh, shape. And um, I want to uh, thank uh, my recording staff, uh, Bikash and Dhrub Jyoti and uh, Shiv Jyoti who have been very cooperative. Uh, and I want to uh, thank uh, my editor Ananta Sarma, who has been very uh, uh, patient uh, with me while the video editing was going on. And uh, I also want to uh, thank uh, the Center for Education Technology at IIT Guwahati uh, for uh, providing all the uh, infrastructure uh, for, for this project. And uh, last but not the least, I want to thank uh, my family, my wife and my son for being patient and very cooperative uh, while I was completing this course. With this uh, acknowledgements, uh, I want to stop this video here.